Welcome back to my shop. This is part three in a series where we will be fixing this little guy. Well, something happened. It worked. Whew. Right, let's try and get this apart. Take the, the stator off first here. Gonna feed these wires through here without breaking anything. There. <laughs> Oil everywhere. No. <laughs> Everything I own is crap. took out the wrong screw, I didn't see that one. That's awesome. Well, looking at the bright side, we get to oil our bench a little. And that's why you have a steel plate on your bench, and not a wooden bench. Oh. I think we need a new bearings. Hmm. <laughs> And it could be the bearing, and it could be the play in and out that's messing a bit with me here, but I, I think that is the bearing. Most definitely the bearing. Yeah, that's an easy one to source. At least not if you want a quality bearing. You can buy them cheap, you can buy them expensive. And none of the expensive seems to be in stock because you know, they went out of normal production like 60 years ago or, or something. Maybe not that bad, but it's not your average bearing. Let's get the carbon cylinder off. Gaskets. And the sideways plug. Strange. Why do you design something that you can't really get to and to, to screw on? Remarkable. Yeah, let's put the bolt holes on like an afterthought. Seems like what they did. It doesn't look too bad. 
It's pretty good for being that old. Oh no, this is yet another Sucks special. Looks like it is. Come on. It comes out with a bit of push. Not <laughs> down in the crankcase. So I drilled a hole in this piece of flat stock. Let's see if that works. There we go. Strange. Told you this was weird. Yes, yes. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> okay, there are parts everywhere now. <laughs> I wake you up in the morning. So, how many of these are there supposed to be? Probably as many as the springs. I have a sneaking suspicion that I need to buy new parts now. There's a spring over here. Whew. Believe it or not, I found all the parts. And it was only three of these hats. Now what? Can we take this out? Yep. Here's the friction disc. If it could be bothered to come out. And the plate. This is the transmission, and that's the primary. So it's a lot like the same uh, same thought as on every normal bike. It's just uh, the solutions are a bit differently done or executed.
I bought a special tool to to hold this hub here in place. It was pretty cheap and I couldn't justify all the work to file out all of these splines. So there we go. And that is a left hand thread, at least according to the book. So I hope the book is right. You sure that's a left hand thread? I'm not sure that's a left hand thread. Let's try the other way before we wreck anything. No, right on thread. Don't never trust the books. I might have been misreading though. Okay, now it's pouring oil, but now what? Now we need to pull this off. And how are we going to pull that off? Uh, the joy of strange motors. So here's what I come up with. It's a uh, piece of aluminum with a bore, same diameter as that one. And I slid it. It has a taper and a thread and a thing. And the idea is that this goes over here, push this down and it'll compress and we might be able to pull it off. Probably what's gonna happen is that this taper is too steep and this will just pop off where I can't get in enough force on it. But we'll try. Have to get it back on there first. There. And now. <laughs> I'm genuinely curious if this will will work at all but <laughs> we will find out so now what will happen are we pulling the puller off yep we're pulling the puller off that's no fun Trying again. No. Nope. That's a Stubborn piece of ugh. hang on. There are threads here. Why haven't I seen that? Stupid ass. <laughs> what the hell? No. Oh my. Sometimes, sometimes, it's no fun at all. The flywheel puller fits. <laughs> well, that at least solved that issue, but who would have thought? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
That's not even remotely cool. I've spent hours trying to make a puller to work and it was standing on the bench right there all the time. Well, that just goes to show, take a look around before you make any decisions. I never do that, so that's what happens, obviously. But anyhow, now I can get this off. There's a key here, yeah, but that doesn't have to come off, but it came off. And that there is left hand thread. Loosened up. Good. In the manual they have a weird tool that goes in here and bends up down with a hole and a rod or a bolt. Well I was feeling lucky and tried this of course off camera and uh, it came out with a bang. Turns out it sits on a taper. Strange. I think all the hard parts are off now. We might be in for more surprises as we go here, but we'll just have to deal with them as they show up. And I think this is a fitting place to end this video. So thanks for watching, and we will split the cases in the next video.